Portland to Rat Rod Television, your home for thrust, lust, and rust. We're going to take you on a journey into backyards and garages where junkabilly mechanics grab and fab their own cars from whatever they can find. There are no rules in the old school. You can win the brand new Lincoln Power MIG welder in the Rat Rod Build Competition. Throttle down, boys, and get ready for some hair-bending automotive entertainment. Let's go. Hi, I'm Miss Red, and welcome to our Rat Rod TV special event. Follow me in. For the first time on TV, we're going to show you a complete chop from start to finish. We're coming at you today from the official Rat Rod TV garage here in Oceanside, California, home of the 1926 Essex build. As you can see, the team is doing what they do best. Talking. This is our team leader, Rick Ackerman. Drag racer, funny car builder, vintage fuel aficionado. So Rick, I hear you have some budget issues on this build. Budget issues, budget issues. What is a budget? We have had no budget. There is no budget. We need it. Look, I mean, how can you build anything? Rick thinks that we can build a car for free. I asked him to take the can of one of our air bottles down there and stand on the corner and see how long it took for someone to give him 80 labs of welding gas, but you know, he can't even <laughs> drag it out of the garage, so that's where we're at. I know what you mean, I had to drive myself here. While the boys work on this car, we're gonna watch the top come off this baby. We're inching closer and closer to getting the roof off of her, getting the dimensions down where they should be. Unfortunately, she's seen a hard life, some dents, bruises, and bumps we had to massage out. Structurally, yeah, she's mostly sound now that we've got uh, some cross bracing in, including the roof and the floor area. It's going to be quite a difficult chop to make sure we keep everything in line. We just had a little better leadership, a couple arguments, is it going to be two inches, is it going to be three, maybe three and a half, how about three and three quarters? We just don't know yet. Today, we, uh, we're getting ready to cut the top off. Before we can do that, we've got to brace it. Otherwise, it's just going to be a floppy mess. There's no, there's no curve on the Essex like there is on like a Ford or a Chevy. There's nothing. So it's a completely open top. So we've taken some time and we've welded in some braces so we can hold everything together before we cut it apart. We're going to do it with a two by four. Everybody is nervous. This car's getting more love right now than it has in 30 years. Love, love, with a sauce of love. A sawzall, a sawzall, a sawzall, and welder. This would have to be Which is... And then what do you come up with for me to mark the steel? You wanted to use friggin' tin snips. No, 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 no. Yeah, no you came up with the soap, happening. soap, the uh, soap, soap pencils that didn't work. Soap pencils? No, what, what, there's something wrong with it. It was raining. Oh, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Crazy. All right, well, anyway, so, so we, so we, so we measured, right? And then we measured again, and then what happened? I think you guys are thinking a little well, too much. Well, you know what? You guys were on one side this? and we were on the other, and that's the problem because you guys were measuring different than we were. Everybody was on the wrong page, and that's why we went and got the two by four. Because yeah. everybody's using the same two no, by four. I was on the wrong page, and I figured, why don't we use this two by four for a stray day? Right, right. But it was a, a good idea. But as a caveman, it's a good idea. As a caveman, well, what, what I figured, why don't we chop it three and a half right. inches? Because this is easy. Right. But then what happened? What it was, happened? It was McCurkin like the That's Kirkland. right. That's right. You grabbed the crooked two by four. Yeah. It right. was your stuff. Do they make a crooked two by four? It I went was to a high two by four. been laying in my backyard for a year and a half. So then. That's all right. Okay. So then we got the two by four thing. We threw that away. Right. So it was no. We used no, it. No. No. So. So now we're ready to cut. Cut. And then what? No cut off no. wheels, right? No, no saw budget. blade, no sawzall blade, no, no power. And what does that equal? So anyway, we're on to the chop. So we cut. Two by four. Cut them. One side, the other cut side. It up. So what that comes down to is crooked 2x4 just gave us nice lines. When you look at our chop, it wasn't because I was uh, intoxicated or anything. The 2x4 had a fine angle, so the chop has a nice Absolute little to it, too. It's all good. Yeah, it worked out. We just out. welded it back down, and it's all First good. First cut was fine. Okay, that's how it's done. I don't know what's taking you guys so long. Next. 
Rat Rod Television is brought to you by Lincoln Electric, the welding experts. Chicago Pneumatic, pull the trigger. Ray Vestas, the best in brakes. Seal the deal with Mr. Gaskin. By Monster Transmission, eat my shift. Cop cams, go faster. By Trailershopper.com, buy, sell, and trade. And by Summit Racing, the world's speed shop. Chicago Pneumatic is the official air tool of Rat Rod TV. Do you want to know why? They're built to work and they're built to last. You can pay more for other tools, but you're not going to get more. Chicago Pneumatic is the Rat Rodder's tool of choice. So fill your hand and feel the power. Check out the full line of Chicago Pneumatic products at cp.com slash rr. cp.com slash rr. And pull the trigger on one of these babies. Watching a Rat Rod TV special event, the 1926 Essex Shop, starring Patrick and his love saw. The roof damage has really been the beginning of the end as far as how much effort we had to put into this build. Most of their shops I've had to deal with, good, straight, solid, 60s sheet metal. Not quite the age, a little better quality. All right, I'll tell you what we're doing. I'll tell you what we're doing, Rick, so that you can tell them what we're doing. <laughs> when we were originally talking about bringing it around and down, cut it right there. my main yeah. issue, my main issue is we're in an angled area right here. So if we bring this around, we're going to have to pie cut all this out to get it to reach. We don't want to pie cut anything. Since he already cut the other side, we have no choice but to make it match. It's going to come down here. That's all we're doing. Okay. Wasn't as good. <laughs> Hang on, hold it. Here's good. Here you go, here you go. Uh, our feared leader actually had one good idea this morning. So far, it's fearless leader one, us zero. But we'll be squaring that dead up soon. This is a critical cut here because it's going to be the mail slot rear window. And it's going to be. The cut's going to be done in the in the glass actual window frame, and then and then we'll finish up the rest of the cut. You'll see as we go along as we cut it. We're going to take the roof off right now. The roof comes off. This is the first part of the top. Ready? Nope. The roof. You got the back? Nope. Watch that sharp metal. There you go. Thank you. 
flipper. Scratch the rust. Hey, the Scratch the rust. Oh, you can see the rings in there. That's, that's fine. Then. Oh, no. well, cut that corner off. Cut the, cut the corner off. If it's not, if it's the window, we will have to cut it. Otherwise, we're going to have a step down, step back. Why don't you just there. cut this step into the back of the car and cut three and a half inches off and put it on it. Done. Instead of overthinking it. I'm just, I mean, you got to side. Just cut it three and a half inches down and three and a half inches over and set the thing on it. You want to go that route? We can. I mean, it's easy. It's done. But our stuff, our main concern was these did not come out perfectly straight. So we Straight. transferred over there, we're going to have some gaps for it. We're trying to avoid that. It's fun. Yeah. It just seems like a lot of work to cut this piece over here. I mean, you do it however you want, but doesn't it make sense just to cut it right here and just cut this piece out? Down to here. And you cut it out. And that makes sense. Fifty fifty. So you have Pretty entertaining, don't you think? I mean they've used everything but a can opener. Wait till you see what they have up next. I needed a new trailer for my motorcycle and was about to go out looking for one when I realized I gotta sell my old one. Good thing I found TrailerShopper.com. I can do both at the same time right from home. At TrailerShopper.com I can shop for a livestock trailer if I needed one, a race car, snowmobile, cargo, or even a horse trailer. Trust me, if you're looking to buy or sell any kind of trailer, new or used, you can do it at TrailerShopper.com. And sellers, your first classified ad is free. Even free one ads. TrailerShopper.com. High performance for life with MLS head gaskets from Mr. Gasket. Engineered for high compression, turbo, supercharged, and nitrous engines. MLS is the multi-layer leak-proof answer guaranteed to seal in performance. Lock, performance. Lock it in for life with MLS from Mr. Gasket. Excel, the GMHEI corrected distributor cap. Eliminate crossed ignition wires and dress up your engine for a clean look. A plug and play fit with ultra high dielectric strength to resist arc through. The GMHEI corrected distributor cap. New from Excel. This segment of Rat Rod TV is brought to you by KillBillet.com. Guys spend their entire lives trying to get tops off. <laughs> You'd think they'd have this down by now. Anyway, let's get back to the chop. If you're looking at measurements, you want to be realistic. This thing is an eighth inch lower than this piece is right here. And this is a quarter inch lower. I'm just saying, you can't really go by all that. So is the roof. What? The roof's got the same, the roof's got the same eighth inch high, eighth inch low. You cut a 45 degree angle, 45 uh, degree I angle. I don't need to go to inches, school right together. now. I understand. I just, all right, well, we're going to measure three and a half inches. Doctor. I'm trying to get it. This morning we started out and Chopped the whole top of the car off, set it aside, measured and measured and measured, made some cuts, uh, made some decisions on where to make our cuts. Contour has changed because it's really not perfectly straight up and down. It looks like it's straight up and down, but it's not perfectly straight up and down. So it gets a little challenging as the three and a half inches disappear and we bring the metal back down and make them up. We got to do a little massaging and manipulating of the metal, but it happens. Do you understand if we take three and a half inches off, three and a half inches off, and three and a half inches off, how much did we take off? Three and a half inches, so it'll still match the roof. If we go three and a half inches here, three and a half inches there, and four inches here, guess what we're going to have? A half inch gap. Let's 
see when we cross that wood. road right now that it's open road. That's the next thing we got to do. We yeah. got to put in the wood in. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We got to take the wood, cut We're the wood We got to put in, some wood all the way around the, the parameter. Rails across the top. And then once we do that, wire, then it'll be strong again. Across, but we don't want to do that to a lesson. Just do the, do the perimeter and do the other last. I agree. Yeah. For finally, we agree on something. How does it look with the chop done? Sick. Sinister. Evil. Right in the mold. The windshield's about this big. Nothing else to say. Good and dangerous. That's just the way we roll. I like it. Yeah. It's all good. It's the all chop back came together. out good. Now we got, we argued uh, about these rims and tires that we put on the thing probably for a month and a half, but uh, I went down at bottom anyways. Everybody else can uh, figure it out. Oh, the motorcycle. I'm, I'm number one, I and like that's it. why I put them on there. And I got the first decision, and that overlays. There's no budget, so they, I they, they look myself. cool. Now but nobody's everybody, gonna drive everybody it. likes them. They look cool. Yeah. But nobody's gonna want to drive it. I'll drive Except the you. hell out of that. Because you're nuts. Yeah. The lid is on. I don't think it's enough. But when you get that window frame out, it's up to you. Yeah, this is perfect. Yeah, we pulled pull, pull the window no, frame out. But it doesn't the window frame. No, no, no. The window frame is three and a half inches taller than that right now. We did not cut the window frame. That's what we're talking about. We're talking about how much stronger should have. So you have the over there. Oh, I'm sorry. It's at least, it's at least level with that. At least level with that lid over there. It's about... Uh, Same thickness as that. It's about uh, an inch and a touch more. I'd like to see it go down more. But it is what it is. Well, right now we're at a nice, clean, nice, clean, chop versus a straight hack it up just to, because there's some other guy next to you that's six inches lower. Big difference. Big difference. Just lift the roof up a little bit and stick it in. <laughs> Big difference if you put those door tops looks in there. Good. It looks real good with the tops of doors. Uh, yeah. Hollywood. I, agree Hollywood. With that. It's all right. I think that's a perfect shot, man. Well, this is get this it welded is, on. This is it right now. Okay, okay. weld it up. We choose happy or we choose another couple inches. We're going right Tigger Mig. I'm fine with it. Right Tig Mig. Yeah. We're talking right there. Like Here's you guys welded. Poncho. Okay, it's been approved. Weld it. I think that went well. What do I know? I have a hard time chopping carrots. trailer for my motorcycle and was about to go out looking for one when I realized I gotta sell my old one. Good thing I found TrailerShopper.com. I can do both at the same time right from home. At TrailerShopper.com I can shop for a livestock trailer if I needed one, a race car, snowmobile, cargo, or even a horse trailer. Trust me, if you're looking to buy or sell any kind of trailer new or used, you can do it at TrailerShopper.com. And sellers, your first classified ad is free. Even free one ads. TrailerShopper.com watching a rat rod tv special event the essex chop they make this look so easy i think they could use some parental guidance though Little spots
we'll get around the corner here, we'll be fine. Yeah. The metal's, um, the metal's relieved, we're good yeah. to go. We're gonna get worse once the brazing starts. So we're gonna get this lined up the best we can. It sounds like you're over trying to all set? All set. All the way. You better? What do you have there? A plethora of clamps. I don't think those three are going to do it. There's some more metal right here. We just got to work with the metal. The metal's just a little bit unsure about itself. Every time we cut something, one part pops loose, one part winds up. And it's just the nature of 74-year-old sheet metal that somebody stuffed in the desert off the side of the hill. Sorry, that's the left door. Shut your mouth, right Pancho, door. shut your mouth! Awesome. Fire on me. Won't be the first time. Is that hell and damnation coming down upon me already? And here I thought I had more time. I got it all glued back together. Yes. And it looks decent. Yeah, and it looks, looks right. good. It looks all right. It looks it looks kind of evil. But I then, like it. Then it started looking like the thing, and if you remember correctly. Well, that's only because we cut that inner structure out. And who told you not to do that? I told you not to do that. I never. And you went ahead and did it anyway. I never. I told you not to cut it out. Don't I know you don't tell follow me not to do nothing. Because well, it's because I told you not to. to do it that you went ahead and cut it. That's it. As soon as I turned my back, as soon as I went home, as soon as I went home, you called me the next day. You go, Pat, we got a problem. I go, yeah, I know, because you cut the ass off. <laughs> oh no, I said I got a little. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Well, you can cut that out too. <laughs> that could all be taken out with editing. Okay. All right. So I took the bronze out, filled it in, and made it look even more like sh But it gives it character, and it is a rat rod, but we all like the way it looks with a little bit of character and patina coming out of it. It was but all fair and fine until we ran out of acetylene. <laughs> what Sorry. is that? Budget. Budget. None. None. So, we got the chop done? Yes. It's back together. Yes. All the doors are swinging. No. Well. Two front ones open and close. The back ones are hanging like a set Okay, so we doors swinging. Two of the doors are swinging. They're yes. all suicide doors. Yes. But the two back ones aren't going to matter anyway because we're going to weld them shut. We ain't got a hole in the roof. If we want someone gunning out of their back doors, they can just pop up out of the top. Yeah, well, we'll fill that in with a little burlap and We'll see when we cross vinyl. that road right now that it's open road. That's the next thing we got to do. We yeah. got to put in the wood in. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We gotta take the wood, cut We're the wood. We're gonna put some in, wood all the way around the perimeter. The across the top. And then once we do that, then it'll be strong again. Across, but we don't want to do that till less. We just do the do the perimeter and do the other last. I agree. Yeah. Top that. Well done, team. Well, I hope you enjoyed the show. And if you want to catch more of this episode, go to RatRodTV.com. See you next time, right here on Rat Rod TV. Bye. Rat Rod Television is brought to you by Lincoln Electric, the welding experts. Chicago Pneumatics, pull the trigger. Ray Vestas, the best in brakes. Seal the deal with Mr. Gaskin. By Monster Transmission, eat my shift. Cop cams, go faster. By Trailershopper.com, buy, sell, and trade. And by Summit Racing, the world's speed shop. Wait a minute, what is that? What, what is this? That's a tool for carpenters to measure the side distance. This is a freaking tape that This is a wrap round deal. We're going to go get a roll of tape. We're going to throw this together. We're going to use freaking two by fours. No, we're going to get a roll of tape. Two by fours. We're going to just tape. We don't have a sponsor for tape. We don't have a sponsor for tape? We don't have a tape sponsor. We don't have a tape sponsor. We're not talking to the right people. We don't have the other, the ones on his tape. High performance for life with MLS head gaskets from Mr. Gasket. Engineered for high compression, turbo, supercharged, and nitrous engines. MLS is the multi-layer leak-proof answer guaranteed to seal in performance. Lock it in for life with MLS from Mr. Gasket.
Excel, the GMHEI corrected distributor cap. Eliminate crossed ignition wires and dress up your engine for a clean look. A plug and play fit with ultra high dielectric strength to resist arc through. The GMHEI, GMHEI corrected distributor cap. New from Excel. Got the ride. Now get the edge at SummitRacing.com. Find parts fast with customizable search options. Shop by keyword, brand name, make, model, and more. Plus, find great deals in the Saving Central section. Get parts quick and easy with online checkout and fast shipping. And get the job done right with helpful instruction sheets, part suggestions, and a huge tech, huge tech archive. It's all at SummitRacing.com, your ultimate power tool.